Hello and welcome back to Aubrey Books and Coffee. Please grab your favorite beverage of choice, which right now is water for me because it is so stinking hot. <laughs> but anyway, grab your beverage of choice and join me. We are going to read, vlog, and unbox all those goodies from the May Once Upon a Book Club. The book this month is This Danger, The Dangerous Ones by Lauren Blackwood. So let's get started. So excited! Can't wait to get started on this one. It looks so good. Okay, so excitingly, I have started the May Once Upon a Book Club book. Um, it's got a lot of trigger warnings, so heads up there. Make sure you look at those. Um, it's interesting, like it starts you off with a bang. You're following Jerusalem and she's finally gotten free from um, slavery. And it's like slavery, but with vampires as well, um, which is a really interesting kind of take. So it's kind of giving me some feels of um, Abraham Lincoln. I think it was like Abraham Lincoln, Vampire Hunter or something like that. It was a movie back in the day. Um, but you really like Jerusalem. Like she is a tough girl. She is strong. And so she finally gains her freedom and wants to fight these vampires and fight slavery. So it, it really is hard to read, but it's a very interesting story and really just kind of grabs you right away, which is really exciting. And our first gift actually comes after she has joined this um, war camp and from up north. And basically they have a friendly vampire that's trying to help them named Alexi. And she's actually, Jerusalem's also befriended like the only other black woman that's in this camp named Odessa. And found out through training with Odessa and Alexi that she's what's called a saint, which are naturally gifted vampire hunters, which kind of makes me think of Buffy the Vampire Hunter. She's got this extra strength and a agility and abilities and things that she didn't even know that she had. And so she's training with Odessa, who she sees as kind of a mother figure. And she's training with Alexi, who she hates, but also is kind of attracted to. And Alexi's kind of attracted to her, and, but he's a vampire. And so like, it's, it, it's kind of cute. And it's, it's all the things. Well, one of the things that Jerusalem really likes, and Alexi knows that she likes are little snails, like the little creature snails and so he actually on page 72 where it has our first gift has said uh, look at that Alexi said he crouched in the book the br brush blah blah and holding his finger out this one's about as small as you are a snail I asked sounding childish and bit back my excitement so I'm wondering if our gift is gonna be like some kind of a little adorable snail or something um, but yes, the writing is easy to read. It's interesting. It's exciting. I like it. I mean, like I said, it's got some hard themes, of course, but I like it. And it says, once upon a book club, <laughs> golden snail. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. It's like really embedded in there. So I'll have to pull it out, but... Oh, that looks so precious. Um, but yeah, this is a super fun, cute, interesting read so far. And it's, oh, it's heavy. So it is, it's like a little gold snail. And uh, it's got some weight to it. It's really well made. Um, I don't think Katie's into snails, but I will find out and give that to her if she is. Otherwise, it'll be up for grabs. So, yeah, like I said, really, really enjoying it. This has the possibility of being a five star. I'm really hoping it keeps this going. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> I am at the 25% way through it mark um, and she's just, oh, Jerusalem has just confronted somebody from her past and I wondered if this was going to be something that would come up in the story during this fight. It's um, the story about her little sister that I didn't know about until this point was just heartbreaking. So. Prepare yourselves for that. Um, still loving it. I'm only like 
10-ish, 15-ish pages past when I gave you your last update. So I'm going to keep going and not say much more than that. And you know, I won't do spoilers. Um, but it, it was, it was rough. It was really, really rough. Okay, so excitingly, we are a little bit further um, to page 115, and basically um, Jerusalem and Odessa, that mother figure, remember, um, and Alexi, the potential love interest, um, ha are actually on a secret mission now, and so they're off doing kind of their own thing compared to what some of the rest of the army is doing. And while they're on this mission, they come across this kind of river. And so, you know, Jerusalem's like, you know what? It's been a hot minute since I've bathed and since I've cooled off. So I'm going to go ahead and just hop in there. And so Alexi was like, yeah, I think you should. And um, he basically's like, be, be careful because uh, you uh, you probably can't swim, right? And, and you know, Jerusalem's like, don't be racist, you know, <laughs> like... <laughs> can swim and he's like no I mean your little noodle arms and she's like uh, my arms aren't noodly anymore you just haven't been paying attention and so when she takes off um, the overshirt that she's wearing he says okay arms watch yourself and basically um, she takes off the cowl and hangs it at the end of the spear and it's just oh gosh <laughs> cute so I'm wondering if it's gonna be some kind of a cowl that we're getting for our gift so um, still really cute. I'm enjoying it. I think Alexi and Jerusalem are going to be a thing. I just do. I see it happening. Um, I'm kind of confused by Odessa's story, though, because it seems like she's married and got five kids, and we hear about that a lot. <laughs> I have a hard time opening. Um, but then... Uh, and the next moment, like, I don't know, she's very flirty with this guy. And so it's funny because even Jerusalem's like, I know you're not my mom, but it's like, you're my mom cheating on my dad. Like, like, what are you thinking? What are you doing? So I don't know what's going on with that. Um, and it does. It looks like we got a cowl. Isn't that cute? And it even has the actual quote that's in the book when it talks about her taking that cowl off. Um, I have no use for that, so I think that will be up for grabs as well. I am still feeling five-star vibes from this. I am still really into it and excited, and I can't wait for the next part. Uh, I'm halfway. Um, I'm sad. <laughs> Not not in a bad way, in the best way. Um, it's we had ourselves a bit of a um, betrayal and then a, a fight that we'll just say didn't go well. And so now I'm a little sad, but it, it is still really good. It's still feeling like a four or five star. I am excited to see where it goes from here. So I've gotten to page two sixteen now and um basically oh my gosh um i think that jerusalem and alexi are really kind of starting to see that they like each other and more is being developed with that but again i don't want to give anything away um where we are specifically at this point has her uh taking some clothes off and she wants to bathe and specifically um <laughs> Specifically, the line is, that soap's real nice, she said. So I'm betting it's going to be soap. <laughs> um, but it's really good. I'm still feeling four or five stars. I'm still absolutely loving it. And yes, we have a bar of soap. Not my favorite smell, so it'll be up for grabs. Um, but cute story. I am just, I mean, I say cute even though it's got some very heartbreaking moments, but it's really well written. I'm really enjoying it. I'm just flying through it and probably finish it today, honestly. Um, I'm on sprints with everybody, which is also kind of fun getting to share with you guys on sprints what I'm thinking. Um, yeah, I'm having a good time. Oh my gosh. 75%. Um, I am really close to finishing this, uh, still enjoying sprints. Um, 
I can't have there be spoilers, but um, wow, it is not letting me down. It is not slowing down. It is an incredible ride so far. I am just absolutely, absolutely loving this book. So that's unfortunately all I can say because it would give things away that I don't want to give away. Um, but I am so here for Jerusalem and Alexi's like ship. I am so here. I need this to happen. I need this in my life. So it looks like I am going to finish this book, um, while we're doing sprints, which is so exciting. Cause I am like almost there. Um, on page 332, which is our last gift, it actually, um, a lot's happened that I can't say because I don't want to spoil anything. Um, but we're, we're, we're at the end. We're at the end. Um, but anyway, so here it talks about, um, I tossed out the flowers from a vase on a corner table. And so I'm betting our gift is going to be, because it's kind of heavy and it's a good size. <laughs> I'm betting it's a vase. Um, so good. So good. Unless something crazy happens to derail this book in the last like 10 pages, five star for me. Um, so I know some people were complaining that the vernacular that the characters are using isn't Civil War era. Like this is supposedly set in. It's very modern kind of sounding, but that doesn't bother me at all. Like I like it better, I think, because I think otherwise I might have been bored if it was so... And this looks like, ooh, I'm gonna try not to drop it and break it. It's very fancy. It's a very fancy flower vase. It's pretty with a little silk scarf. I do not need another vase, so this will be up for grabs as well. Make sure you ask for it if you win in the drawings, but this one has been a lot of fun. I don't normally have such a good time with the book, so I'm loving this. I am really having a good time. So there we have it. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. I don't think it will surprise you to hear five stars for this book. Now keep in mind when I looked on Goodreads, a lot of people were that were giving it a much lower rating, like a two star rating or so. They said it's because it's set in the Civil War, which it is, but that the vernacular that's used, she uses things like Watch out if you got children listening. But like she says, dumbass a lot, which of course would not have been said back then. But things like that don't bother me. It's not like she's talking about cars or cell phones or anything like that. So I was along for the ride. I loved her humor in this. I loved how she reacted to things. I loved the relationship going on in here. I was all for the war. I... I'm telling you, there were some very difficult moments, some very hard topics, because of course we're talking about slavery. And so all of that is addressed in here and it is it is rough. So prepare yourselves, look at trigger warnings. But oh my goodness, everybody, it was so good. It is 100% getting a spot on my shelf now because I really enjoyed it. Now gift wise, they did give us a golden snail. That thing was so cute. They gave us a gray cowl, which looks super comfy. They gave us soap, which smells super bad, <laughs> but I'm sure somebody out there would actually really enjoy it. And they gave us a beautiful vase that I just have no space or need for. So several of these items are up for grabs. Make sure you specify whenever you win in our drawings if you want one of these items. Now, last but not least, of course, we open up the fun packet. Oh, and the uh, star rating for the gifts I forgot to say is believe it or not a five star I know not very often do we get that the items were spot on for where it was at in the story when I opened them they all seem to be of really good quality so I approve big time now if you uh normally watch my channel sorry i was having a hard time getting it all together i normally um watch my channel i normally give you these items with the book if you choose the book whenever you do the drawing however the book is not available but i do want to still share i'm keeping my bookmark there's that i am keeping the signature plate i am keeping the art print And it looks like it even gives a little collectible sticker, which is super adorable. They don't often do that. That is so cute. 
I'm gonna keep that too, I'm sorry. And then inside the packet itself, we of course get a conversation with the author and discussion questions for book clubs and a yummy Tiny's cornbread recipe. So I'll go slow in case you wanna freeze it and write it down. I'm sure everybody's got a good cornbread recipe already though, but still. Well, thank you all so much for being here. Please like, subscribe, send your friends, and I will see you all next time.